so guys you can see that now the sensor is somewhere float switch so the led is on it means the water level is full i take out the sensor you see that the moving part goes down now see this moving part it can go up or down see once it up it means the tank is full and it's down the tank is empty so the led turns on or off according to this so because this thing can float on water so it can easily represent that the switch is working fine now i just submerge it in the water see the moving part is now up you can see that that part went up so the led turns on that the tank is full now i take it out of the water see the moving part is going down the led turns off simple as that see now i show you from some distance see i insert it the moving part goes up the led turns on that the tank is full and when i take it out the moving part goes down so the tank is empty now see i do it manually see it goes up the led turns on goes down the led turns off so simple as that guys hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can detect water level in a water tank using p35 float switch with pic 16 fa 77a microcontroller so guys this over here is a p35 float switch it also comes in p40 and other configurations as well but the good thing is they all have exactly the same wiring and same connection and the same methodology to work with a microcontroller so you can simply replace this with any other type of switch in the p series it will work exactly fine now as you can see that it's a simple switch this thing moves along this uh, rod so as soon as it is in the water it will go up and hit this so it will give a signal that the tank is full now guys this over here these two wires they are just like a normal normal push button you can just call it a normal button as soon as this uh, rotatable uh, movable part hits the top it gets a signal that it it's now connected like in case of a button you press it it gets connected and the circuit is complete now let me show you uh, the labeling i will do for these two wires one i will call vcc and other one as a signal now guys let me show you why i am calling one wire as vcc one as signal now the good thing is you can shuffle these two wires you can call this one vcc and this one signal doesn't matter so there is no issue with shuffling now guys this is our pic 16 fa 77a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version this over here is a p35 float switch as you can see it has two two wires only one i name as vcc other as signal now i will show you why i name one as vcc one as signal and you can shuffle these two wires doesn't matter now to connect it with a pick you will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor because either we need to pull up the logic or pull down the logic now uh, when i check this i move this manually to the top and i i saw that uh, by default it's on so when this uh, movable part is at the bottom it gives a zero Oh, sorry one and one it is at top it gives a zero so let's do the wiring so this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor connect the signal pin to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this and from the same pin you will take out your output you can connect it to any available digital input output pin of the pin i am going to use a pin number 20 that is pin number d1 now from the other end of this 10 kilo ohm resistor you just send it to the ground like this now for the other pin that is the vcc just connected to the vcc pin of the pick 5 volt coming for the pick will be enough to make the sensor work now guys to display the output i will be using this led whenever the water tank is full the led will turn on as it will remain off now guys for the led you have two pins one longer one shorter i name the longer as power shorter as ground like this now guys to connect this led with a pick you will need a 220 ohm resistor Uh, you can use any other value as well but the higher the value of the resistor the dimmer the led will go so i will be using a 220 ohm resistor connect the longer pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this from the other end of this 220 ohm resistor you can connect it to any available digital input output pin of the pick i am going to use a pin number 19 that is d0 now for the shorter pin ground of the led just connect it to the common ground of the circuit like this in this way our Uh, p35 float switch is connected and our led is connected now guys i am going to program this pick in such a way that whenever the float switch like this movable part hits the top like there is water in the tank then it will this led will turn on that's simple as that now guys before we continue let me introduce you to the hardware then we will move on to the programming so guys for demonstration purpose i will be using this bucket i will fill it up with water and i have connected this sensor here like this see now take a look here 
that uh, it caught a knob i just uh, drilled a hole in the in the cap and then i inserted this from bottom and screwed it from the top like this so in this way it is connected now you can see that this is a movable part now when i check through a dmm when this is here it means a zero is sent by default when it is here it means a one is being sent a five volt signal is sent so it is just a continuity that as soon as it comes here the circuit gets connected and when it once it goes there the circuit is disconnected it's like a button that once it's here it means the button is pressed once it here the button is not pressed so that's how i'm going to program it so it means that once it's here as shown on the dmm that uh, whenever i bring it here the beep of the dmm in the continuity mode do not uh, uh, beeps like dmm do not beeps here so it means it is disconnected from the supply so it means it's a zero here so once it goes here it means it's a one here so our programming we in such a way that whenever the uh, sensor gives a zero it means that the tank is full and once it's one it means it is in no, it's not full it's filling up so that's all guys and this over here is the led i'm gonna use and in the background over there you can see the pic 16 f double seven a and a trainer board so only these two things uh, over here are of our concern now what i do is that guys let's move on to the micro c4 pic so we can start the programming so guys this over here is the micro c4 pic version 7.6.0 uh, I will also share the link to the video in which I showed you how you can download this micro C4 pick for free from the official legal website. So click on file, new, new project. This window pops up, new project visit. Click on next, write the name of the project. I write water level switch interface pick 16 F877A microcontroller. So guys, this is a name I wrote. You can write any name to you, you want. So the path where the files will be created, it's like the microcontroller you are going to use. I'm going to use the PIC16 FH77A. And here you are going to select the clock. The clock is the crystal connected to pin number 13 and 14 of your PIC16 FH77A microcontroller. Since PIC16 FH77A do not have an internal oscillator, so guys, you have to connect an external oscillator and that is the value you will write here. And I have a 20 megahertz crystal over there. So click next and finish. Now, guys, this window pops up. Before you do anything else, first of all, save your work. Press Ctrl S. Click on save. Now, guys, next thing is we go back to our presentation. And here, let's see how many uh, files we are going to need. So, as you can see that we only have here two pins. One for the uh, sensor and one for the LED. D0 is for the LED and D1 is for the sensor. So we just need to program these two pins, D0 and D1. First of all, we program the LED pin, press D dot F0 equals to 0. I give some initialization delay, not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one type loop. So guys, this register, trace register is a direction register. It can declare a pin either output or input and D is a port, FO is a pin number. So pin D port D pin number 0, that is pin number D0 equals to 0. 0 means the pin has been declared as output and if it is 1, it means it has been declared as input. Now the pin is declared as output and initially we want the LED to be off. So port D dot F0 equals to 0 because if we give a 1, the LED will turn on. So initially the LED will be off by default. Now we initialize the float switch for that right trace d dot f1 equals to 1 and again give the initialization delay like this now again now see the difference here the trace register equals to 0 means the led pin is an output pin now for the input the sensor will give an input it is just like a button so we declare trace it is tris like this trace tris okay that's correct trace d dot f1 that is a button pin port d pin number f1 equals to 1 it means the pin has been declared as input now we have our button initialized oh sorry the sensor initialized the float switch and we also have our led initialized now we go for our forever loop write down while one the forever loop starts here and here now what i do is that first of all i check if port d dot 
f1 double equals to zero now why i am using zero here as i told you in the when i showed you the hardware there this sensor once the movable part is at top see here let me zoom out so you guys can see better now see once it is in the water water this part will be at top like this it will float to the top like this okay just like this so once this part is at top it means uh, the tank is full and once it is at top i had checked it through a dmm the wires gives that the circuit is disconnected it means it sends a zero when it's at top and when it, it, it is at bottom it will give a one in this configuration when 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the, at the grounding end like this so it will be zero when it is at top so our led must be on when it is at top so that's why i'm writing zero here so if port d dot f1 double equals to zero this means the led must turn on representing that the water is at full water that the tank is full so oh sorry just copy the led this is the led paste it here okay the led pin which is zero by default becomes one led turns on for how long we make it like half a second for half second it will be on else if it is not here this means that led will be off if it is not one then it is zero so if it's zero then we will go back to our initial set that is port d dot f0 equals to zero here like this now that's as simple as that let's build the code and see what happens okay the code is built let's open the picket 3 programmer tool so this is our picket 3 programmer tool i will also give a link to the video in which i had shown you how you can download install and use this tool it is very simple select the microcontroller that is our pic 16 fa 77 a click on file import hex file this is the file we just created click on write okay the new file is being written let's go to the hardware and see what happens okay let's write the new file okay let it write okay it's written okay now it's the programming is done i click on on i power up the circuit through the picket 3 now take a look here the sensor is down now i bring it up see the led turns off so it is working fine so whenever it will be in the water it will be submerged it will be like this so the led turns on else it is one the led turns off now it's zero sending a zero so the led is on representing that the tank is full now the tank is empty now i will add water into this bucket and we'll see the same using the proper method so let me fill the bucket with water and let's insert the sensor okay the bucket is full of water now see i have filled the bucket with water now i insert this into the water i hope it do not displaces the water too much okay simple as that see the led turns on because the sensor is now on the upside okay, let me partially close it now take a look here see the sensor is on top so the led is on you can easily see that see that it's on the top because it is somewhere in the water so the led is on now because it is submerged so it turned on the led simple as that now i load some water from the tank okay i take out the sensor now see the sensor is down so the led is off i submerge it again see the led turns on because the sensor is now submerged now i take it out see again led turns off because it is out and the tank is no longer full see the tank is full it is representing that a tank is full and when i take it out it do not represent that the tank is full simple as that it is very simple to use guys very simple and easy to use you can easily see that it's working like a charm so guys now take a look from this angle the led is on because the sensor is submerged and you can see that it's up now i take it out slowly now take a look here see it goes down and the led turns off see again i do the same see it's out now i take it down again now as soon as it goes in the sensor gets submerged see and the knob goes down up and the led turns on simple as that take a look here again see it's up 
the moving part is now down it means the circuit has been disconnected and led is off that tank is empty now i take it down see it sub gets submerged and the moving parts goes up because it can float and the led turns on simple as that see i show you again see now it's out it means the tank is empty there is no water and as soon as it is goes in it tells that the water is full the tank is full so guys this is it if you guys have any questions you can ask me in the comment thank you very much for your time guys and we'll see you in the next video